Here at home, San Diegans are sounding off after the death of Britain's longest reigning monarch. CBS 8's Abby Alford spent the day talking to people about her impact in Britain and beyond. The House of England in Balboa Park just opened its doors and it's getting its tea ready for any members and those who want to come here and grieve the loss of the Queen. It did not take long for members of the House of England in Balboa Park to gather to mourn the loss of Queen Elizabeth. I mean, I know she was 96, but it still hurts. Outside the House of England, a volunteer raises the British flag at half staff. Inside, volunteers warm the water for tea and cookies. As everyone says, you know, cup of tea is, is healing. My Linda Tolson's the vice president of the House of England. Her husband, Craig, is the president and grew up in the UK. You can see he's still processing the loss. People need a place to gather, um, just to be there to support. And if anybody wants to grieve or just talk about things, memories and things like that, it's, it's good to just have a place there where we can get together. So this was a great call to open up the cottage. Yeah. Volunteer Lane Boyd says it was her daughter who broke the news to her. Sorry. She said the queen is dead. Although her daughter Claire is only 16 years old, she feels the magnitude of this loss. Like my heart dropped to the pit of my stomach. To hear that she was gone was to hear that like a piece of at least my heart kind of died. Claire says Queen Elizabeth was a global icon. But she's a role model for many, including me. The amount of respect for the Queen's 70 year reign runs deep. It's a blow. It's a big loss. She's the world's longest reigning monarch. She seemed like she put duty before everything. My reflects on her love for family and animals. The first thing that came to mind was animal lover. I'm a huge animal lover as well. As King Charles takes over the reign, House of England volunteers hope that he will continue to unite the country. I'm hoping that people will not be divided with what's coming, be a little bit more open-minded and patient. The House of England Cottage will be open on Friday for respite and reopen during regular hours this weekend. This place has always been a second home to us and these people have always been a second family to us and she has been a second family to us. New on CBS News 8 at 6, we speak to a local British woman who says she was on the phone with her family in England when they learned that Queen Elizabeth died.